All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And we are going to be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 tonight. And man, it feels great to be back here on COD Black Ops 3. It feels great to be back on a fun Call of Duty game. Do you hear what I said? I said a fun Call of Duty game. No, okay, no one cares about historical accuracy or feeling ordinary and vulnerable and all that stuff. We, we care about fun, Condry. Three little letters. Fun. That's <laughs> something Sledgehammer just can't seem to figure out. You know, whenever I make a video ranting about COD World War II, like, everybody agrees with me. Usually, like, even when I made fun of MW3 because of how broken that game was, you had to have Assassin on, Sitrep Pro broke the game, Death Streaks. Um, no skill, multi kill, scrubs dropping stealth bombers on people. There were so many things to complain about in MW3. People still defended that game. I talk crap about COD Ghost being the most boring, forgettable Call of Duty game ever. People defended that game. I talk smack about Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare. Eh, there was a few people defending those two titles, a few. But usually, <laughs> someone has got uh, a Call of Duty's back. But whenever I come out here and dog, COD World War II, man, everybody agrees with me. Everybody's like, yeah, that game's terrible. Yeah, I agree. Well, except the quick scopers. The quick scopers don't come around here too much, though. I don't know. Quick scopers, show me some love. Come on, man. You know I only talk about you guys because I like you. I'd like you even more if you'd stay the hell out of my lobbies. Well, I don't have to worry about you here in this game, so we're good. <laughs> no quick Well, I'm sure there are a few quick scopers, but you don't see them, uh, you know, 24 7 like you do in COD World War II. But man, it just seems like Call of Duty World War II has become, I don't know if it's the most hated COD game. I don't know, fella. Is Call of Duty World War II the most hated COD? Did Sledgehammer top themselves? <laughs> Did Sledge is, is COD World War II even more hated than Advanced Warfare? That's what I want to know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is the worst game? And you know what? Let me put it to you like this. Which game do you think is the least fun? And you know what? As much as I hated Advanced Warfare, I think it's more fun than World War II. I really do. What's this guy doing? Sit down, son. Damn, look at all the colors. Ooh, a Sniper Wolf fanboy. All the colors, man. Ooh, dude, I have them colors going on in that, in that uh, player card art there. But hey, it's better than seeing what we usually see in Treyarch player card art. There he is again. And Sniper Wolf fanboy gets owned. And we'll bring in the UAV. UAV, best score streak in the game in Call of Duty World War II. All right, but I'm going to get off World War II now, fella. I'm going to get off it. Uh, people are asking me if I've quit that game for good. I mean, dude, I don't know. I mean, Black Ops 3 is fun. Black Ops 1 is popping right now. Black Ops 1 has got 140,000 people on playing it. Last time I checked, a little bit earlier today, there was 140,000 people playing that game. Super Bowl weekend. Oh, just incredible. So, I, I mean, we'll see. I'm still going to, I'm not going to switch to Fortnite full time like a lot of people think I'm going to do. Fortnite is an enjoyable game, but honestly, dude, I just don't see a big future in that game for me. Uh, I'm having a lot of trouble going up against like these super freak builders. I'm talking about, you guys know who I'm talking about. If you guys see a dude in your Fortnite lobby and he's dressed up like a skeleton, a knight, uh, a gingerbread man, like you seen in the last video, or these new sweats we're seeing in Fortnite, the disco suit dudes, the disco suit sweats. If you guys see any one of those suits, you're just going to die. I went up against a dude wearing a skull suit today. And my God, man, the dude in like the bl a blink of an eye built a base bigger than this building right here. He had like a whole base up in like 10 seconds. I was like, bro, what the hell? And then he just jumped up top of the ramp and just shotgunned me to death. I couldn't do nothing. I was like, yeah. If so, if you see a guy in Fortnite dressed up like any one of those people, just put the controller down, just sit back, it's, it's over. It's just like seeing a, a quick scoper in COD World War II. You're dead. You're going to die. It's the equivalent of a sniper with a car 98 in COD World War II. You don't stand a chance. It, it's over. You have no control of what's going to happen. You're just, you're just dead <laughs> in the blink of an eye. So... That's the biggest thing, man. I think a lot of people are using... I don't want to accuse people of using keyboard and mouse, even though everyone is saying that all these super builders in Fortnite are keyboard and mouse users. I mean, if that's the case, dude, you just don't stand a chance. If you're playing on a regular controller in Fortnite, going up against... Uh, plus, someone's telling me that the PS4 lobbies you play against PC dudes, 
<laughs> like I said, man, I don't think I'll ever be a Fortnite gameplay channel, but I can still upload some Fortnite funny moments. I can upload some Fortnite highlights. I don't know if I'm ever going to get that rank one. Uh, unless I learn how to build. There's an XM cheese, and look at this spawn. Oh, my goodness. Look at that spawn. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, I mean, unless I learn how to build a, a, a building as big as one I'm shooting at right now in the blink of an eye in Fortnite, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get good Fortnite gameplay like I can here in, in COD Black Ops 3. Like, I come over here to Black Ops 3, and I dominate. <laughs> you know, not all the time, but most of the time. Go for Fortnite, dude. I know I'm a noob. I'm supposed to get wrecked, but it just seems like I just cannot get the building part down, man. The building is really hard, and I'm playing against these dudes, and there's so many sweats on Fortnite, man. These guys who literally build, like, an entire city in, like, 20 seconds. I'll have a whole city up. I'm just sent back like, what? I don't even know where to begin, bro. <laughs> but I'll still play. It's fun. Hey, I mean, you look at guys like uh, T. Martin, right? T. Martin, famous Call of Duty channel. Has that... Has that man ever uploaded a full Call of Duty gameplay in his life? I don't think he has. So I could just sit back and upload, you know, tips and highlights and, you know, 30 seconds of Fortnite gameplay here and there. And, st and still, you know, upload some quality Fortnite content, I suppose. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's enough about that, man. Uh, Fortnite's a fun game. I'm going to keep playing it. Everyone's telling me PUBG is where to go because PUBG, there's no building. Uh, because... I mean, if there was a no building lobby in Fortnite, I would be in there all day, every day. It's just the building seems a little too complicated for my old ass, at, you know, right now. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get better as I play more. But PUBG, I'm hearing that's the, that's the uh, survival game to go to because there's no building. It's just running, shooting, scavenging, and surviving. And what the hell happens right here, son? Damn, whatever, man. I don't know. Guys, I don't know if I like this KVK, man, to be honest. It's not as good as I thought it would be, but hey, I got it for free from that holiday challenge supply drop, so I'll take it. But anyway, guys, all right, so we're like almost eight minutes into the video. I think now it's time for me to talk some Dragon Ball Super. So if you don't want to hear the Dragon Ball Super spoilers from episode, I believe this was 126. If you don't want to hear any spoilers, you could click off right now. Because I'm going to talk some Dragon Ball Super. You guys know I'm a big Dragon Ball fan. I tweet stuff about Dragon Ball all the time. And tonight's episode was pretty damn awesome, dude. Tonight we saw God of Destruction Topo, who threw away all his morals. Oh, justice doesn't matter. If justice can't save my universe, justice is useless. He threw away all his high and mighty justice this and justice that rhetoric to become a God of Destruction. And Vegeta called him out. Vegeta's like, you're pathetic. You, were, you, you threw away everything you were just so you could get more power. And instead of throwing away everything Vegeta was, Vegeta embraced everything that he was. He embraced his family. He embraced Kaba, his promise to Kaba. He embraced his Saiyan pride, and he became even stronger than the God of Destruction Topo and beat the living shit out of him. Vegeta whipped Topo's ass. It was beautiful. It was just like when he beat uh, Goku Black's ass. And we all know Vegeta ascended to his uh, limit breaker form beyond Super Saiyan God. And I don't know how many levels... He, supposedly, he's supposed to be on par with Goku's um, Super Saiyan Blue with KO Ken Fist times 20. Or King Kai Fist times 20 or whatever. Let's see what I'm saying? I told you guys that KVK is not good, man. KN just beat it. KN just beat it, and I even landed my shots on him first. Eat that sandwich, boy. Uh, so, anyway, Vegeta, super, super powerful right now. Stronger than a God of Destruction. I don't know if he could whip Beerus' ass, but, man, he beat down Topo. Topo couldn't do nothing. <laughs> Topo couldn't do nothing against Vegeta. Vegeta was smacking him, beating him around. <laughs> I mean, it was just it was ridiculous. Then Topo just gathered up this huge attack, this big... I mean, another thing I can't understand... Is when Topo was launching those balls of destruction at Vegeta. How is Vegeta just punching right through that? I mean, if the Hakai touches you, like you guys saw when the Hakai hit those mountains, the mountains just vanished. If the destruction Hakai touches your body, isn't that it for you? Don't you get destroyed? I mean, I know Topo can't kill Vegeta or else he'd be disqualified. But I don't know. 
it was just beautiful to see, man. I like, uh, you know, th all throughout Dragon Ball, Vegeta's always getting his ass kicked. He's always getting beat down. Uh, you know, he's had his moments, like when he beat down Cell, and he beat down Android 19, you know, he beat down Goku Black, which was amazing, and now he just beat down, like, probably the most powerful opponent I've ever seen him beat down, dude. He beat down a god of destruction. <laughs> he just completely whipped his ass, and it was just fantastic. I loved it. And I was laughing my ass off, dude. The final attack that Vegeta used on Topo to finish him off was an old familiar friend of ours. <laughs> Vegeta actually used Dead Man's hand. That's right. He used Dead Man's hand on Topo, dude. I was sitting there laughing my ass off. <laughs> Vegeta just sat back. It was the same Dead Man's hand attack he used to kill Majin Buu back in the Buu saga. And except this time, I guess because Vegeta is so super powerful, he survived it. So not only is Vegeta <laughs> beating down gods of destruction, but he can survive Dead Man's Hand. I've never seen anyone survive Dead Man's Hand, but Vegeta did it. <laughs> Vegeta used Dead Man's Hand on Topo, dude. I was dying. So <laughs> just a great episode, man. Uh, looking forward to episode 127. Because now it looks like Jiren's pissed. And did my Wraith just shoot that C4 and kill that guy? That is epic, dude. <laughs> Damn, I love this game, man. See, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Sledgehammer. I mean, Activision. Well, first of all, hold on. What are you doing, Activision? Just let Treyarch take the wheel. <laughs> Honestly, man. Make, make Call of Duty come out every three years. Combine all the studios. Stop splitting up the studios. Combine the studios. Combine them all, but have Treyarch be the lead dog. Have Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer assist Treyarch. I don't know. Somehow. But make Treyarch the lead dog, man. If you want Call of Duty to survive, you better stop screwing around and take this shit seriously. I mean, for crying out loud, Activision, Treyarch even made a good jetpack card. I mean, that's the ultimate test of a developer. Can you make a good space Call of Duty? Yes! Oh, man. Well, that's, that's more impressive than what Vegeta did to Topo tonight. <laughs> anyway, proud moment for Vegeta fans in episode 126. If you're a Vegeta fan, you'll definitely love tonight's episode. And all right, Jiren, you're the last man standing for Universe 11. Universe 7 is coming for that ass. You know that Goku and Vegeta are going to use that fusion, and Ultra Instinct Vegito is just going to beat the crap out of Jiren. That's my prediction. What do you guys think is going to happen in 127? What do you guys think is going to happen ultimately in the Tournament of Power? I think we're going to see a Vegeta and Goku fusion and Jiren's going down. In Universe 7, victorious. And then Vegeta get the Dragon Balls and just wish everybody back. It'll be like nothing ever happened. It'll be all good again. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like and share it. All that good stuff. Enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow. I'm not going to make no kind of predictions because I don't want to jinx anything. I just want it to be a good game and hope nobody gets hurt. That's all I got, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'm out. Peace.